What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What is up everybody? Welcome to part two with this Boros Winota deck. Uh, this deck is very, very sweet, uh, very, very aggressive, and can really, really pull out some wins. Uh, if you did not see our first video on it, please do go check that one out. I go through the deck a little bit more in detail there, uh, so you can kind of get an idea of what we are shooting for. Uh, this one, we are going to go through three games as we always do and see how we, uh, how we fare. Uh, please also, uh, I just want to mention before we get too far into this video, if you've got deck suggestions, please leave them down below. I know a few people have already given us some, uh, some decks to play. Some people have given us some suggestions of different things we could do with decks we've already played. I really do appreciate any and all, uh, of submissions for that kind of thing. Uh, just so we have an idea of what you guys are looking to, uh, to see. Uh, so that's kind of our, our thought process at least. Our hand is actually okay against this because we've got a couple burn spells, so I'm I'm kind of cool with this. Uh, let's let's do this. Let's get a red. There we go. Whoop. Okay. Cool. There we go. Uh, taking a pretty big hit there, but uh, this this next turn obviously we'll be able to uh, <coughs> hopefully mitigate some of that issue. Perfect. So let's do this first. Uh, before that lands, just so they don't get the 1-1 uh, one, one out of it. Now here... I'm actually going to play this out. Uh, this is a bit more aggressive than I usually like to be, but I'm going to go for it here. Uh, solely because if they had wanted to trade off, I wouldn't have cared that much. <laughs> uh... Now that is a problem. That's a big problem. Uh, so, what can we do about that? Not a lot, to be brutally honest. Um, we're going to pass. If we can stack this correctly, we could actually do some major stuff here, but we will see. We can give this first strike, so that's something that we need to keep in mind. See if this actually works. Uh, looks like it will. I'm gonna dump this back, uh, and great. That's fantastic. <clears throat> I would just kinda have to hope they don't have another one of this. <laughs> uh, Torbran is crazy good. Uh, and if we can get rid of this with this fire prophecy, uh, I will be very, very happy. Giving this first strike such a very, very good thing. Um, Let's get that down. Let's get this down. And we'll pass here. Uh, this is going to have to swing in. I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Uh, and we'll put the second Tajik on the bottom again, just because obviously we've already got one out. It's not going to do too much for us to have a second. Uh, now here we are in a position. Oh god, we are gonna have to pretty, pretty much stabilize here. This is gonna be a little bit tough. Um, hmm. -hmm. I think I'm gonna block like this, only because this just continuously spits out stuff for us. Good 
cards. Very good cards. I think they may have just, uh, you know, gotten us out a little bit too quickly here. Let's play this out. Don't suppose we can, no. So I think we just lose here, right? Uh, block here, block here, block here. We're pretty close to losing. Man, these guys just make it. This annex is just so, so good. Uh, very difficult to, to truly deal with. Now, here, let's block that. Let's block that. And let's block that. Well. Oh, okay. Well, unfortunately, they just outpaced us. Uh, that does, I mean, fully expect that to happen. We are a bit of a slower uh, uh, deck here. We did have some removal pieces, which definitely kept us in the game, I think, longer than I expected. Uh, and that Tajik plus Burn Spell is quite a nice little combo thing going on where you can kind of get rid of some strong stuff. I'm, I'm a little surprised they actually... Well, no, they wouldn't have known, so that makes sense. But uh, I do think... Um, that matchup is quite bad. We've actually, in the first video, uh, we ran up against two different control decks, uh, both of which we actually handled quite nicely, uh, which was kind of surprising. This hand is a little bit rough. I'm gonna try it. We're, we're certainly using this as a learning experiment uh, as well. We're learning these new cards from Akoria, uh, and this is going to be a learning experience. If we're against an aggro deck, I think we're definitely in bad shape here. Um, which doesn't look like we are. Let's get this out. That's actually quite a good draw for us. Uh, that way next turn we at least um, aren't just sitting with just a singular three drop. Uh, is it deck? Are we against like a Phoenix deck here? Could very easily be the case. I wonder how that matchup plays out actually. Um, played with two different Phoenix lists so far. Uh, both of which were very, very fun. One, I think, has more potential to be a lot better. Um, at least, I'm going to try this. They could very easily have a quench here. Okay, Essence Scatter, sure. Uh, that's certainly a good one for them to Essence Scatter, so I understand. I think they would have just Essence Scattered anything we played there, but it's fine. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get the opportunity to play Winota down. I am going to attack here. Uh, don't care that much that this is going to get uh, get blocked. Because this does not. <clears throat> Alright. Um, this is definitely the Is It kind of Spells Matters deck. Um, so I'm very interested to see how this plays out. Uh, next turn... Probably going to drop the Anax, uh, just so we can have a little bit of board protection here. Um, don't know how many burn spells or anything they've got, but they've, they're have they 100% the Izzet deck. Okay, yeah, they've even got the, the old school Crackling Drake in, that's pretty cool. Uh, Ominous Seas, hey, I was trying that card. Um, does that change things? Yeah, kind of. Let's do this. I'm going to put this on the bottom, actually. Perfect. Let's Fable Passage. I'm going to take the opportunity to get the Annex down. Uh, we'll pull out a red here. Play Annex. All attack. All right. Certainly under a lot of board pressure here, so they're going to have to do some major... Wow! Okay, well, I said major. That certainly is major. We still get our three... Or, excuse me, our five satyrs here. Um, the Terramander. 
Sure. Now, see, why would it auto-tab that way? That's really just... Oops. Oh, I guess it has to. I'm sorry. Duh, duh, duh. All right. Well, let's swing in. Let's get this out there. Got two counters. If they've got enough, you know, cathartic reunions and stuff, they can certainly do a lot of damage with that. So, I, uh... What do we have protection from? Four. Well, that's four. Other than four. Okay. So... Can I not? Oh, okay. So it's protection from that. Well, that's kind of annoying. Um, well, in that case, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just pass. Um, let's save this uh, for when we can hopefully win with it. Um, if they have another Storm's Wrath, that would be quite good. This no longer is gonna get them there. Um, I mean, this is. Very powerful card, but definitely a bit slow in this matchup. Uh, they can, I'm sure they can get Nate out. Like, they've probably got a million cards. There we go. Uh, they've probably got the cards to get it, but that's not going to do it. So, awesome. Awesome, awesome. We got one more game with this Boros, uh, whatever, Win not Winota. I, I always mispronounce names, so I do certainly apologize, but... Uh, really, really loving this deck, guys. This is a fun one. Uh, obviously, Mono Red, a bit of a rough matchup for us, but that actually worked out really, really well. I think that deck is quite slow uh, for that strategy, unless they really get an amazing hand, uh, and we just get a, a bad hand. So, last game. Last, last game. Uh, a bit sketchy on lands, but I'm going to keep... Um, it's nice because if we do just get two more lands, we've got such an easy one, two, three, four, uh, that, you know, it's kind of worth it. And I think in these aggro decks, you just kind of have to kind of hope, uh, we're, we're running a low land count. We know this is a risk. Um, and certainly it's going to feel bad, uh, if we don't get there, but we're going to do our best. Uh, fine. Whew. Okay. That's helpful. Um, Swing it. And ooh, forgot its first strike. And then we will play the Vanguard. Alright. I'm assuming this is the Calamity kind of style deck. Uh, most other decks don't actually run the 10 Street Dodger. We are only doing it because it enables so much, but it's obviously not the norm. And already we're seeing we're we're stopping two turns of, of attacks here. Uh, which, against a red deck, is obviously very, very good. So we're happy about that. Uh, we'll see what we get uh, off the top here. Um, Bone Crusher. Does that change things? I think it does. I'm going to get rid of the Steamkin. Um, I don't really want them to have that, because uh, it does really bolster their mana quite a bit here they could try and trade off but we do have the fight as one if we needed it perfect okay so next turn we either have uh if we get a land we can certainly winota and then try and you know do some ma major damage to them um I took that risk that you know maybe they didn't have any more lands and it looks like that might pay off uh if they're they're just playing the way they probably should, then they just are waiting to play their land, but uh, we will see. And they may have something like a light up the stage. Could help them get there. Um, looks like they do. Makes sense. And they got their land. Okay. Scorch Spitter. I think we are just hoping for a land here. Ask and you shall receive. All right, let's Winota then. 
let's see what we can do. I think we're, we're, we'll get uh, two triggers off of this, I believe. Um, I don't believe this coming in this uh, token coming into play actually triggers the Winota. But these two do. Miss! Wow, that sucks. Um, well, I'm going to do this considering they're the 1-1 one, one deck. <laughs> um, let's get as many 1-1s one out as we can just so diversification is important. Uh, in this matchup. That way they can't just burn stuff. And, uh, you know, with three burn spells, they, they still would not have a ton. And this just leaves a blocker behind uh, as well, which is pretty important. Okay. So again, we're seeing kind of the power level of just a Grim Initiate here. We we get the 1-1 one, one and it's fine. Um like, yeah, you saved your Scorch Spitter, uh, but we still kept our 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Doesn't have First Strike, so, you know, you got me there. Um, but this is going to start, hopefully, triggering, you know, one, two, three times now. Uh, these two are humans, so they do not count. So if I were them, I would be kind of focusing on these cards, but there we go. We got the, the win, guys. This is awesome. I absolutely love this deck. Now, again, I do want to mention, I, I talked about it in the first video, a lot of people are kind of running a Jeskai list with this, with things like Agent of Treachery, uh, to allow you to kind of just steal your opponent's stuff, which is very, very dirty, but quite good. Uh, and so I'm interested in kind of seeing a list of that put together, and maybe we'll play that in the future. If you have a list for that, please, by all means, again, share it down below. I really do appreciate uh, any suggestions there. If you're not already, uh, please subscribe, please like, please comment, any kind of support if you enjoyed this video. We really do appreciate it. It means a lot to us. We're a small channel. Any little uh, gesture that you can, you can give definitely, definitely helps. Check out our links down below as well. Our Instagram, our Patreon are on the screen, as well as our website, uh, itresolvesmtg.com. Uh, just released actually some new proxies up there if you're interested in checking those out. So thank you guys very, very much for watching, and I am very excited to see you in the next gameplay video.